Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking yet another video and welcome if you're new. My name is Sally G and this channel is all about me taking you guys along for the journey with me as I build this clothing brand. So that parcel that I sent back in January, I will link the video up here or up here, actually came back to me this morning and I thought, you know what, let me make a video on how to actually ship things to Europe nowadays because I managed to do so successfully. So I sent a parcel out on Tuesday and it arrived on Friday and I'm going to let you know exactly how I managed to do that and the different things that I did in order to ensure that my parcel gets there. So initially I used DPD to try and send this parcel that's miraculously, you know, arrived back here and it cost me £17.45 and it was meant to be a three-day service. So I sent that out mid-January. Today is the 13th of March. So this time around I decided that, you know what, I'm going to try a different delivery service. So I tried TNT and the reason why I selected TNT was because I've sent things like overseas, like far overseas using TNT and it's arrived. Shipping in Europe has been a bit big big problem that a lot of companies are facing at the moment i'm not sure whether things have sorted itself out comment down below if you've been having any issues with sending things to europe so i actually went on the tnt website directly instead of using those you know comparison websites like parcel to go so a bit about my parcel my parcel was 6.5 kgs it was 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters by 21 centimeters and it cost me 39 pounds to send but mind you i did use the express next day delivery even though it didn't arrive the next day but it's fine i know that the economy price was actually 29 pounds to send to italy so a lot more well nah it's a lot more than what the dpd shipping was but you know i was willing to pay a little bit more because i needed that parcel to get there so this time around i packed two polyester trousers eight meters of cotton fabric polyester jumpsuit sample as well with that 39 pounds i was covered up to 50 pounds in terms of compensation if anything happens to my parcel so this time around what i did differently is i actually took my sweet time filling in the customs forms now on that parcel to go website there was a custom document that i had to fill in but because I've sent things like abroad or abroad or I've had to fill in these forms I kind of filled it in in the same way where you know I was a little bit blasé and I was just like yeah it's clothes but this time around I was extremely specific about what was in this parcel so for the polyester trouser samples I wrote down polyester trouser samples and I wrote down the tariff code and the tariff code for that was 620349 so that's a tariff code that I used tariff code is the code that tells you what it is i guess customs i think it's a universal tariff code wherever you are in the world don't quote me because i'm not actually 100 percent sure on the tnt website it kind of makes it easy because it asks you like whether it's closed and it gives you like an indication of what the tariff code could potentially be but i went a step further and i researched that tariff code on google to make sure that it was the correct tariff code and i did the same for the polyester jumpsuit i used the same tariff code i guess it's linked to what the fabric was actually made of but i did make a mistake which I then saw afterwards was that I put the country of manufacturer being the UK even though that they're not made in the UK but I bought them in the UK so I thought that would be okay and then I also put eight meters of cotton fabric and that tariff code was 520100 and I made sure all the unit values of all these things added up to 50 pounds to make sure that I get that full compensation with this shipping post Brexit to Europe it's a bit mad so like i said i paid for next day delivery it didn't get there next day so it got collected on tuesday and it arrived on friday so that's three days so on the form as well you have to fill out the reason for export so on my reason for export i didn't actually know but maybe you guys could help me out with this so obviously i had three options i had the option that said purchase which it wasn't a purchase because my manufacturer didn't purchase it then i had gift then there's like this thing where it says like inter transfer inter company transfer i thought that maybe that's what it would be but i didn't want to risk it so i just put it down as gift my company shiva shiva is vat registered so I had to tick the option of saying that you know it's a company and it's a VAT registered company so then I had to fill in my VAT number along with sorry the sun so I had to fill out my VAT number along with my EORI 
number. So once everything was filled out, the bit that made me confident that this time it was actually going to get there was the fact that I actually received invoices that I had to put into an envelope and mark it as customs documents. Now with the DPD and the parcel to go, there was none of that. I just literally put the label on the thing and gave it to the driver and there was nothing to do with customs. So I feel like that's the bit where like there was an issue with customs. TNT gives you the instructions of what you need to do. So they say, you know, fix the label onto the box and then in an envelope put all the other documents labeled customs documents and hand that to the driver. The parcel was collected Tuesday and then my manufacturer sent me an email on Friday saying that it's arrived all as well but in that I was checking the tracking and the tracking was saying that I think on Wednesday or yeah it was Wednesday that it was held at customs and then on Thursday it was released and on Friday it was delivered so TNT gets a thumbs up for me even though it is a bit expensive but my parcel got there. So I went back on the site to see if I could help some people out there that might be trying to ship to um, Europe and want to know like the costing and stuff. So for the same parcel, the same weight and the same dimensions, to ship it to France, it will cost you £34 with the express next day service, which wasn't really next day. And it will cost you £27 to send it economy, which is like three days plus, I believe. To Ireland, they only have an express service and it's £31 even though Ireland is like a stone's throw away. Spain, £39 express and £30 on the economy service. And in Germany, £34 express and £27 on the economy service. So that's my, that's my update. So finally, my samples are in Italy. And since we're here, I might as well give you an update in terms of my collection and where we're at. My collection itself, initially it was gonna be made out of 12, 13 pieces, but I had to drop two of the pieces due to my strict budget and I think I am going to create a video all about my budget and showing you you know how I am what you call it like spreading my money so what how much money is going into what let me know if you're interested in seeing that so now that my fabric has arrived in Italy my sampling is in full effect like I've sent all my artwork over my patterns that I purchased I've sent all of those over she has made the toil I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm going to put the word up on the screen. She's made a toil sample of the jumpsuit. A toil sample is basically a sample of the garment made in a cheaper fabric just so that you can like check the fit and stuff and to see whether the pattern actually works. That's how you know that they are taking their sweet time. This is not fast fashion. This is slow fashion. The photo shoot venue guys, the photo shoot venue, I did post a clip of it in a video that I made a while back. Again, I'll link it up here. That's pretty much confirmed and I'm really really excited for that. Obviously I'm going to document all of that for you guys to see and we have also confirmed I think five to six models as part of the campaign and they're really really excited so I'm really looking forward to that as well. The plan for my actual launch campaign so like my photography, my video, all of that is like all planned out. I think I'm probably going to do like a live on YouTube for you to see the campaign and stuff so that's pretty much all planned out and again super exciting exciting stuff i've put a lot a lot into this launch campaign i am currently working on the website so i am giving it a full-on like revamp so the things that i actually need to do that are pressing at the moment so i need to order the rest of the fabric i don't feel like that's pressing pressing but i do need to do that pretty soon i need to order in the silk because obviously that's coming from far the sample for that should be arriving soon i really really hope that it's good like fingers crossed guys cross your fingers for me because if it doesn't come right then I'm gonna be upset oh and I need to order the boxes so I was speaking to uh, my supplier and they were like we sell out really quickly and I was like damn like I actually need to order these boxes otherwise they're gonna be sold out so those are my pressing things that I need to do then I've got some like other things like my ultimate clothing burn starter kit which I'm working on which I am like super excited to release and now I've decided to add another 20 videos to it. So it's meant to just be like a written um, 
I don't want to call it a course, but it was meant to be like a written like thing. But now I've decided to add 20 videos to assist the reading process, basically to assist the different sections. And I just feel like it would just be like a really good package to make sure that it's as understandable as possible. And I've also been dabbling in working on the website for that. Oh, it's really hard though, guys, because there's like, it's not just an e-commerce website, which I feel like e-commerce websites are much easier to make. But when you're thinking about, you know, you need to take in bookings, you need to be able Able to have like a private private membership area like it gets super complicated to build so i've started trying to dabble in building that and that's pretty much that on that so oh this has been kind of therapeutic to just like sit here and think about like all the things that i need to actually do over the next couple of months right now like i'm in a space where it's like i'm really trying to like keep it together and i don't mean it in a like in an emotional way i kind of do but um in terms of like i need to be able to manage my time so that my head doesn't explode but then I also need to be able to like relax as well because guys I do not relax like this is a Saturday I'm working on a Saturday right now I've got a call after this I'm filming I need to edit this and release it tomorrow I need to start having my weekends to myself otherwise I will never rest but you know what it's work season because come June 21st y'all I'm gonna be out okay I'm probably not gonna be out out but like I'm gonna be maybe a bit tired because i would have gone out so i won't have as much time so it's better for me to work really really hard now so that i can play later yeah it's been nice sitting down and just having a little little natter and not just being like all serious and that i really really hope that you've enjoyed this like super random end to this video i hope i've helped you in terms of the brexit shipping i really really hope that you've enjoyed this video and please don't forget to like comment and please subscribe i'll catch you guys in my next video